You know, this channel has been going incredibly well. The support has been incredible. The response has been insanely positive. No real controversies, no issues. But I think it's finally time to change that. Let's talk about Rust. So, why don't I use Rust and why don't I advocate for Rust? And there's one simple reason. Software is not written in a vacuum. I cannot stress this enough. For my use case and for I think a lot of people's use cases, Rust does not make a lot of sense. Now let me be clear at the offset. I'm not saying that you do not have a problem that is solved by Rust. I get that and a ton of people do and that makes a lot of sense. I get that Rust is fast. It is performant. The types are insane. The safety is insane. The compiler is crazy. It is fast to write when you get really good at it. Now it takes a long time to get good at, but once you get there, I get you can do it pretty quickly. It's parallelism is great. Concurrency is great. Async is great. It's got commits into Linux. It is an amazing language, probably on an objective level, one of the best languages out there right now, if not the best. So why am I not using it? And the reason is because it would take me too long to learn. And I know that sounds like a really dumb reason because the obvious answer is, well, just learn it. Spend the couple months and just learn it. Like you can do it. It's not that, you know, anyone can do it. You can learn it. And yeah, I know I could. I could learn Rust. Of course I could. Anyone can. But that doesn't mean that it's worth doing. And the reason it's not worth doing is because I have tools like TypeScript and Go, which already solve my problems. And let me explain what I mean. So at the end of the day, all I really care about in my end use case is I want to solve business problems for end users. I am in the space of my job, my like nine to five job is I work at an app development agency. We build apps for clients. That means that we need to get stuff onto their screen in a reasonable amount of time. We need to solve the problem that they give us. And in my free time, I work on Insider Viz, my company. And what we need to do is we need to take forms from the SEC's database. We need to take stock data from the NASDAQ and we need to put that onto a screen, aggregate it, and send that to the end user. And I can solve all of those problems quickly, efficiently, and with very, very good performance using TypeScript and Go. So why would I go back and do all of that work, the work that I could be, the work that I could do in a month, in six months, just to say I wrote it in Rust? It doesn't make any sense. If I'm not being bottlenecked and I can solve the problem with these easier languages, why would I not just use them? At the end of these at the end of the day, I believe that these languages are nothing more than tools. They are not religion. They are not gospel. They are simply ways to solve problems. I think people forget that sometimes. At the end of the day, all that matters is whether or not you produce something of value. And if I can produce something of value in a reasonable amount of time in TypeScript, well, I can pr produce more stuff of value in TypeScript. If I could write a front end using type using React and TypeScript in a week versus I had to spend, you know, five months writing that same front end in Rust and whatever the Rust front end WASM framework thing is, if it took me like five months to write that one, then I could write several orders of magnitude, more good, valuable stuff in TypeScript. And this isn't even getting into the whole issue of what happens when you try and scale. Because at the end of the day, these projects that we're working on and the stuff we do, it's not just us. Software is a collaborative effort. And at the end of the day, Rust is harder to get people to do and use. I've seen a lot of stories of startup founders who are Rust gods. They know what they're doing. They're the super talented ones you see on the forums and, and they go in, they build their startup with it. It's all great. It's good. But then they need to scale. So they do well. Great. Congratulations. It's time to scale. They try and start hiring and they can't do it. It's insanely difficult to find engineers who can write Rust already, so they end up having to bring on people who don't know how to write Rust and try and teach them, but then they're trying to teach them while making new features, and they have to spend all of this extra time learning and onboarding and doing all this stuff. They lose months of productivity, burn tens of thousands of dollars in dev salaries and all of this stuff, and it turns into this giant mess, all because they wrote it in this more difficult esoteric language when they could have just written it in Go or TypeScript and then hired anybody and it would have just been fixed overnight that's the problem the problem is that this stuff is not written in a vacuum and you have to take into account other people are going to use it how is this going to scale what am i going to do with this how quick do i need to go am i doing am i solving the problems i need to solve and i think for me rust doesn't solve those problems and i'm not saying that it doesn't solve those problems for you and if it does, that's fantastic. I'm glad it does. I'm glad the tool exists for that reason. It is a performant, low-level language that has incredible safety and incredible compiler. It is going to be backwards compatible forever. 
that's fantastic. That needs to exist and great things are going to get built with it. And I want to see those things get built, but they're not going to get built by me, at least not right now. I'm not ruling it out. I'm sure in the future I'll probably get roped into it. But for now, my priorities are in solving problems, solving business problems and TypeScript and go do that for me. So that's sort of my perspective on all of this. I hope it makes sense. I hope you don't feel attacked. If you like Rust, I get it. I know it's better than Go. I know it's better than TypeScript, but only in a vacuum. And in the real world, this is the stuff that works for me. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll see you next time.